I think it was important to start in a centralized way. That's mm-hmm. how you get initial flywheel going. So I like to compare this with it kind of the, the mainframe era of AI versus the PC era of AI. Mm-hmm. For those of us old enough, remember that back then computing and internet was about mainframes, IBM mainframes, great supercomputers and so on. And Bill and Steve had a different idea at Microsoft and Apple. And they said, oh, let's put the computing at the edge. And that completely changed the way we think about the internet. And at some point that was in the eighties. And in the nineties, we switched over from the internet to the web, which is a Mm. massive shift, by the way, those are the two very different things. And I think it's the same thing with AI. We are starting with the mainframe mindset of AI where we have this thing called a dumb browser. And through that, we connect to highly centralized AI training and and services. And we receive those services through a dumb browser interface. And and then we're going to switch over to edge AI, edge compute, where a lot of the things will actually run on our own machines, which will come with a lot of benefits, but with a lot of challenges. For example, when we moved from mainframe to PCs, we didn't have to worry about installing antivirus software. Hmm. But in the 90s, we had to deal with this crap called Norton antivirus and so on. So I think the same thing is going to happen with, with AI when we move away from just ex- accessing AI through a browser, through accessing AI through in our daily life. We are in charge of how we drive our own AI. So that's the shift for me from centralization to decentralization. Now we're going to get innovation at the edges. There'll be more responsible AI because there'll be more checks and balances as more entities are participating. 